I think it's important to tell a more complex story about nursing. I wasn't aware that nurses did research and you know, led clinical trials and built medical devices and tools and technologies. Sometimes if you don't see yourself reflected in the world doing certain things, it doesn't occur to you that you can do them. As an oncology nurse, much of the work I do centers around providing clinical care, but also doing interviews and spending time in homes and people's spaces. I went to one meeting in particular that was a bunch of scientists and industry representatives. Among them, not a single one of those teams had incorporated patients or caregivers in the design process. I think I was the only nurse in the room. We were discussing issues that at their heart were all about people, patients, families out in the community. Those people were nowhere at the table. That's kind of when it clicked for me that like, that's what we do. <laughs> we have ideas and whether those are built devices or systems of delivering care, those are worth something in the world and they should really have a, an audience. This is a, this is a succulent <laughs> So for the IV fluid manufacturing system, uh, the idea is building um, almost like a backpack, a portable self-contained system. And my chemical engineering colleague, Dr. Sarah Perry, had a lab that could support the work and, and some of the filtration technology. And uh, that's actually something we're gonna be doing a bit more of hopefully later today as we test out some of the water purification technology. Here's the IV stuff. My time here at UMass has been largely a process of trying to learn the languages of my colleagues who work in spaces like chemical engineering from, from the, or nanotechnology. From the and the annals, um, uh, trying yeah. to understand the tools they use, yeah. how yeah. they describe so, that work. So I'm guessing it's like um, yeah, some kind of metal contaminant. Yeah. Without a, a basic understanding of what's available, it's hard to imagine what's possible. Calling myself an inventor wasn't something I really did until I was hanging out with other people who use those words all the time. I've come to appreciate how important it is that we as nurses also show up to those places. Something that's central, I think, to the nursing approach is human caring and putting an empathic lens on the process of scientific discovery. We cover folks in, in these small reflective markers and all over their body and we're able to create computer models of, of people's entire skeleton. Yeah, unfortunately, the things that are make this space really useful also make it super uninteresting. There are huge gaps in our ability to translate innovation out into the real world. Nurses as professionals are very used to engaging in the process of translation. If we're gonna go into the community or to our patient advocates and stakeholder groups and we're gonna talk to them about whether or not we really understand the problem in the first place. Yeah, we've done like, like all these interviews where we, we took from the interviews with clinicians and with breast cancer survivors what people were describing as their you know, pains and gains and roles. We had received funding for this wellness toolkit for breast cancer survivors that was mostly focused on wearable sensors and changing activity patterns and exercise. These are things that we have put together to start thinking about supportive care for breast cancer survivors. One of the things they told us that was their largest unmet need was not necessarily related you know, to activity and exercise, but around sexual well-being. Um, especially as they got further out from treatment. Often we want to really care for them, and it's, it is a way of caring, it's just a very different way of caring. 
there are humans and people who are using these devices and from the conception of a project, those individuals should be part of our thinking as well as the environments they are living and working in. That's how we think about the process of designing tools and products. I think every one of these projects, when they come together, they're um, kind of like a space mission. You know, you're not quite sure how it's going to turn out and what new things may need to be built to make it work. But if you know a nurse who's ever worked an eight-hour shift, like, you know nurses are born to have problems. <laughs> I love that we can talk about these things. <laughs>